Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem longest word in dictionary through deleting. So given a string and a string dictionary, find the longest string in the dictionary that can be formed by deleting some characters of the given string. So if there are more than one possible result, return the longest word with the smallest lexicographical order. If there is no possible result, return the empty string. So this is our original string as given and we have to find out the word from this dictionary D which is subsequence with this string so that we can form that uh, word by deleting one, zero or more characters from this uh, string S. So if we see this character ALE, uh, word ALE, we can form from this string as we have character A followed by L followed by E. So this can be formed. And this can be an answer, but let's see next word apple, apple a p p l e can also be formed. And now this word is greater in length. So we have to pick first, we have to pick the biggest longest word. So uh, we will pick this. Now we will keep continue trying. Now monkey, monkey, there is no m itself. So we can't form this word from the subsequence of this string. Similarly, p l e a, we can form it. It is a last here. But the length of this is less than the length of this uh, apple which is 5 and it is 4. So we will have to return apple as the longest word. So you can see here answer is the longest apple. So now how can we solve this problem? So one of the solution to solve this problem, first of all we will sort our dictionary of words in the given like expected uh, form of answer. So based on the length first, so we will sort this. sort our dictionary first length based on the length and if two word has the same length then we will sort based on lexicographically. Once we sort this after that we will start picking uh, and from the word. So after sorting this string this will become first monkey then apple then pili then l l. So this is the after sorting sorry for bad handwriting. So now we will check is monkey is a subsequence of this? No. Is apple is a subsequence of this? Yes. So as soon as we find the first bird from the dictionary is a subsequence with our string as we will return this. So this is the first approach and the first solution. So let's see for the second example here as you can see all the word in dictionary is of length 1 and also sorted in a uh, increasing uh, lexicographical order. So which is what the problem is expecting. So we just check. If A is a subsequence, yes, A is a subsequence, so we will return A itself. So you can pause the video and try to code yourself first. So here is a code snippet for the first solution. So how we are sorting? We are using a lambda, uh, Java 8 lambda op operations and where we are comparing first the length of two string. If it is equal, then using ternary operator, we are just using a, a dot compared to V. So we are comparing the string A and V lexicographically. Uh, increasing order while the length we are comparing in a uh, lexic in the decreasing order. So this is, will give us a sorted order and then we are checking whether any word in the dictionary is a subsequence with the string s. So we are calling a helper method is subsequence. So what does this method is doing? So this method is just starting like iterating uh, j pointer for the word word and uh, i pointer for all the character in string s. We will compare it whenever we see if the character at uh, ith index on s is equals to the character on jth index of word we will increment j as well otherwise we will keep incrementing i and in the end we just return the if we found all the character of our current word into the string s in the order from left to right so this is a code for the checking if uh, two string whether the word is a subsequence with the s or not once this done, this is the order. Now what will be the time complexity of this solution? So let's see, first string S is of length let's say n and the dictionary has m words. So if dictionary has m words, so sorting this, this will take m log n, m log n time by using collection dot sort plus now we are comparing each word from the dictionary of m with the string and we are all checking whether it is subsequence or not. So in worst case we will end up comparing m into n. So this will be the time complexity of this solution. So that's it. Can we 
try and solve with other approach so as you can see here we are doing sorting and then picking the first wherever we found instead of do, doing sorting we just keep trying so let's take the same example here so we have uh, let's see small example a b c d and here we have a b is a string and let's say b a is another string and then we have c and then here let's say d is also the string so we have four string uh, into our dictionary and this is our original string as a b c d so now what we can do first we will create a result empty string that of length 0 and now we will check one by one each word each string from the dictionary we will iterate again the using the same for loop so we will see if word is a sub like first word is a subsequence with this if it is so once if it is a subsequence then we will check if the length of our original result if the length of our word so the current word the let's say the word is word and if bird dot length the current word which is a subsequence with s if greater than the result word the so far the result we found if it is greater than which means we found a better longest word so we will update our result with this word and in case of the length is equal then in that case we will check if it is like word dot like this is come we will use if it is lexicographically current word is less than the, our result then we will update so this is the approach and subsequence method we will reuse the same problem so you can pause the video and try it out code so let's implement the code so for the code i have written down this is a code for the old solution sorting one so here we just uh, comment the sorting line and here we define our result string result from the uh, empty string first and here we will check if the word dot length is greater than the length of our current result or or like if the word dot length is equals to result dot length and uh, result we will compare this word with result compared to result if this is smaller than 0 in that case we update our result with the current word that is it and in the end we return the result string whatever we get so let us try to compile this code now so code is getting compiled let us test uh, one custom test case which we discuss as an example a b c d and now we have word let us say first d then we have another word V A, then we have another word A V and the last is let us say C. So, let us try it out. So, we are getting the expected answer. Now, we can submit this code and it got accepted. So, what is the time complexity of this solution? So, as you can see again we have m bird and the length of our string s so we are again processing and comparing each word whether it is a subsequence with s or not so the time complexity of this uh, code is o of m into n that's it if you like this solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel